Hello Nuggets. Okay, been a few days since the last video. Um, been busy. Uh, so one of the things that we did recently was we went to uh, a day-long seminar for a organization called Seed and Spark. Um, and they're basically a funding organization. They're a, they're, they've created a method for people to fund their projects, plays. Uh, well, actually, I don't know if it's just movies. Movies, TV, short films. I don't know. Seed and Spark, anyway, is what it's called. And they had a seminar about how to uh, pursue getting funding. Crowdfunding, right? That's what they specialize in. They specialize in crowdfunding. And they have a very uh, clever way of breaking up the budget so people know what they're putting in for. People can actually isolate what they want to buy for you. So, like, if you were to break down and say, our budget's going to cost... Five thousand for the actors. It's going to cost five thousand for the crew, five thousand for the equipment, fifty thousand for marketing. Whatever, whatever the numbers are, people can give directly for that particular item. So they can help pay the cast, they can help pay the crew, they can help you know, um, or they can just give money to the project on the whole. Um, really good system. It seems to be extremely successful. But what I wanted to talk about was. The two speakers at the beginning of the day was the first was someone called Emily Best and she started Seed and Spark and, and her company ran the organ the, the today's or well, that day's events rather. She was amazing, remarkable person. I mean just um, quick, very present, on the ball, great ideas, funny, <laughs> like she she had it absolutely all. Um, and one of the things she said that really hit home for Laura and I was, she said, so independent filmmakers, and she was talking about anything, it could have been short projects, like I said, or a TV show or an animation or whatever the hell you want to do. Independent filmmakers will often tell the story about how they've put the script together, they've broken down the budget, they've basically uh, arranged everything and they're ready to shoot and now they're just waiting on someone to give them the money or they're waiting on a company to pick it up and she said Emily Best said that doesn't sound like independent filmmaking to me that sounds like dependent filmmaking and what Seed and Spark do is they're a crowdfunding platform that allows you to remove the dependence right so you actually go make it. Now, it's not truly independent because you still have to sell it, right? You still have to get it somewhere. I mean, you could put it up on the web and try and make money for whatever your project is that way. Uh, and I guess their point is that if you go through the Seed and Spark method, then it was free, by the way, this whole thing. And they weren't selling us anything. It was remarkable. Such a great event. Um, if you go through the Seed and Spark thing, then there is a path for you to never need anyone's help. You can start it right now. Uh, it was very uh, invigorating, very exciting. Um, it got us moving. We have a plan for what we're going to do. We're going to shoot it in January. We're going to do it our own way. We're not going to wait. We're not going to try and fundraise for it. We're just doing it our own way. Um, the second person who came up was Mark Duplass. Now, he's from the Duplass brothers. You've almost certainly seen some of the stuff he's done. You've seen him in lots of different things. He was in... Actually, I think both of the Duplass brothers were in... Oh, the, the sitcom... Mindy Kaling. The Mindy Kaling Show. Or the Mindy Show. Whatever that was called. The Mindy Project. Um, they played the two doctors who were downstairs who ran the birthing midwife. The midwives. Anyway, that's them. And it's interesting because he always... Or he often plays the same character... And even though I know actors have been around them my whole life, I know that's not them. I had an opinion about who he was based on the fact that he always seems to play this same character, which is the guy who seems to be doing really good things, and yet he's creepy and a little weird and a little annoying. So I just thought that's who he is, right? <laughs> Naively. This guy's awesome, okay? Mark Duplass is fucking awesome. Like... I didn't meet him. My wife went up and said hi to him afterwards. But he did this thing called cracking the project. I'm, I'm butchering that. I don't know what he called it. Cracking the code, cracking your project, something like that. Where he just sat down. With, they picked three three project, three people from the audience. These three women got up. There's a lot of women there. Very few men. There's a lot of women there. These three women got up and explained their project. And they talked to him about it. 
and he offered solutions about where to go next. And his mantra was always the same, which is, what can you do for yourself now? What can you do that isn't waiting? Because he was he's been in that industry for a while. He's successful. He's well known. And he was in the studio system for a while. And it was unsatisfactory to him. He's like, I'm still waiting. I'm doing this work. And then I'm waiting for someone to say, OK, you can go shoot that now. Or, OK, you can write it now. Or, OK, here's a check. So he said he's out of that. I don't know anything about his career. So I don't know how he's managing that. But he said he's out now. And he's back to his roots, which is doing it himself. He's just going to go, him and his brother are just going to go make it themselves. And of course, they're now very successful and very admirable. And um, apparently he has a book. My wife's read it. I haven't. Um, but he talks about methods, about how he does it. This guy's great. If you get a chance to see either Emily Best, who runs Seed and Spark, or Mark Duplass speak about it, you should go see it. I have to say, just to encourage even more, I hate Q&As, movie Q&As. They bore the shit out of me. Right. And I also have like a, a bit of an aversion to filmmakers talking about films because usually they're telling you stuff that, you know, and you're just not executing. It doesn't help. You know, it's like it's like the doctor sending me to a nutritionist to help me lose weight. That's not my problem. I know what I should be eating. I'm not eating it. It's like, you know, it's scare tactics. It's, it's, it's not going to work that way. That's not the way my mind works. That's why I often don't go to those Q&A things or those kind of symposiums on how to make your own movie and how to do it. But I went to this reluctantly and it blew my mind because they did talk about changes. They talked about how you could change it. So I highly recommend it. Of the 15 people who watch these videos, if one of you is a writer, actor, director, filmmaker, producer, whatever thinking, what the fuck do I do next? You need to look into Seed and Spark. You need to go to their free day of education, whatever they call it. Um, it's wonderful. Uh, I also didn't realize, I thought I was kind of new to the game, but actually a lot of people use Seed and Spark. Some of my friends, we went to a party last night, um, a company called Metamorphic Films, and they fund through Seed and Spark. I didn't know that. So it's this great resource. It's awesome. And uh, that was it. I just wanted to update. I was so impressed with Mark Duplass. I totally had a man crush on him from yesterday. He was so honest and direct with these people and kind. You know, he started it when he got up. He started out by saying, and he was so personal. And he was like, just, you know, just to get this out of the way. No, I won't read your script. I'm not going to read it. That's not why I'm here. I'm not going to read your script. And the reason is no one read mine. And it was so honest and so true. And you're like, yeah, no one did read his. He just went and fucking made it. He found a way, you know. Um, and Emily Best was the same. She was a to I was totally had a crush on her. <laughs> She's amazing. Not really, but you know, she was just fantastic and just so insightful. Um, the organization of the event was really well run. There was this wonderful energy. It was at the Miracle Theater in Inglewood, which is this great space. I'm all great and wonderful today because uh, it was really inspiring, really inspiring. Um, so look it up. If you're looking to fund something, if you've got something, and, you know, you have a story to tell, a unique story that's just you, no one else can tell it. Go out and fucking do it. That was the mantra. So look up Seed and Spark and it will help you. They've got some great tools and resources there. All right, that's it. Bye, Nuggets.